everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be attempting to get an autograph from every single Premier League club. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and claim that this idea was mine. I actually got all of the inspiration for this video from the channel with David MC, who has done lots of similar videos to this. He actually recently did one where he tried to get an autograph from every single football club in the world. We've not gone quite so big in this video. We're just sticking with the Premier League, so let's get into it. Let's see what I did. Now, initially, when I started this video, I thought maybe this would be quite easy. Maybe you could just send an email to the different clubs. There's emails available on their websites. You know, just say, I'm a massive fan. I'd really, really love some autographs from you. But after watching David's video, I realized it was definitely not that easy and that the best way you can get in contact with these clubs is to physically write them a letter and send it in the post. So. I went out, I bought 50 stamps, I went and got loads and loads of envelopes, paper, pens, everything I needed. Let's just play the montage. Now, the contents of the letter was basically saying that I was a big fan, who my favourite players were and also which game I really, really loved watching from the season just gone. Um, and then at the bottom I also included a request for autographs, so I just said, I kindly ask that you reply to this letter with some autographs from the players. Um, I noted that I'd included a pre-addressed and stamped envelope in the letter, so honestly they had no excuses and not to reply I gave them everything they could possibly need um, so yeah if you are planning on doing this make sure you put your own address in the letter or they won't know where to send the autographs to moving on to the replies then now I just want to say before I get into them that I totally messed up with one of the letters the Liverpool letter I accidentally sent it to their old training ground I was so so annoyed with myself I didn't realize they've actually just recently moved to a new training ground so I got a letter back from Royal Mail which included my original letter um, back to my home address so that was really really annoying I have resent that letter but honestly it was only around a week or so ago so I I will keep you guys updated um, as to whether or not Liverpool do end up replying. I did get four replies in total. The bad news is that three of those replies were not very successful at all. The last one I will leave till last. So I'm just going to run through the letters, one of which was slightly more brutal than the others. Let's just get into it. Up first we have a letter from Burnley Football Club. Here is what they sent me. They did come through with the fancy paper and they essentially just said, thank you so much for your letter, but due to the COVID-19 restrictions, we are unable to complete any requests unless you are from a registered charity. So that was fair enough. Um, at least they bothered to reply. They thanked me for the letter that I sent, so yeah. I was fairly disappointed not to get anything, but at least they said thank you. I also received a letter back from Southampton. Here is the letter. Slightly less effort went into this letter, I believe. Um, look how tiny the little logo is. This kind of looks like something I would have made in year seven. Um, but they just went on to say the same as Burnley. They can't do anything at the moment due to the virus, but they did say they would keep my name and my address on file so that when the virus is over and everything returns to normal, that they will send me some autographs. They will fulfill my request. So that is good news. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on whether or not they fulfill the request. 
The third letter was definitely an interesting one. It was a little bit shirty. The club kind of acted as if they were annoyed that I'd sent them this letter. They've obviously got some problems going on with receiving lots and lots of letters. That's the only thing I can assume based on what they sent to me. Um, it wasn't the most friendliest letter and I think if I was a massive fan of this club and I'd sent this amazing fan mail and I put loads of effort into it and they sent me this, I probably would have been a little bit disappointed disappointed and maybe a little bit upset especially if I was someone younger um, and the club I'm actually referring to is Leeds United now they essentially said that they don't send any requests out and they don't really appreciate any letters because they're worried about people selling the autographs on eBay. Now, obviously this is an issue that this club is having. Obviously they're annoyed by it. And they essentially just told me if I want autographs, I have to go to Ellen Road like every other fan. That's essentially what they said in sort of same-ish words. Now, I did think that was a little bit odd because not every single person has the ability to get to games, not everyone can afford to travel. If you, for example, live right down in the south, it could take you five or six hours to get up to Leeds. Not everybody is from the exact place where the club is. So yeah, that one was a little bit funny, I'm not gonna lie. Moving on to the final letter then, the fourth letter and the only successful reply we had. Um, this club actually sent some autographs for me, but they didn't include a letter. They didn't say who it was from. It was just the index cards that I had sent them with a couple of autographs on. Now, I had to do some detective work because quite honestly, when you look at a lot of footballers' autographs, they are quite hard to work out. They're quite hard to work out who has signed um, the autograph. So the one thing that gave this club away was in fact this stamp right here. I don't know if you guys can see that but it essentially just says Royal Mail and then it says Tyneside. So obviously that is Newcastle so I kind of had to do my own detective work and I worked out that these autographs actually came from Newcastle United Football Club. Now I just want to say before I show you these autographs that I totally and massively respect this club so so much because I sent this letter and honestly, two days later, they had replied with these autographs, which I think is absolutely insane. It shows how much they love and they care for their supporters. I honestly just think that was brilliant. So here are the two autographs that Newcastle United sent me. As you can see, they actually signed the little index cards that I had sent. So massive thank you to whoever opened my letter and who actually took the time to take my index cards, find the players and get them to sign them. I really, really am so grateful that you did that. You took the time, you did it really, really quickly. And yeah, just a massive thank you. So first up, we have this one. This is an autograph from John Joe Shelby and then this one is an autograph from Isaac Hayden. So the video was not a complete fail. We did get two really, really nice hand signed autographs from two Newcastle United players. Um, yeah, you know, you could say that this was a massive fail because I sent 20 letters in total. I had to pay for 40 stamps. Um, just a lot of effort went into this video to just get one club to send something back. But you know, I'm still really, really grateful. It was a fun experience. I would definitely say go for it if you want to write to your favorite club or your favorite clubs. Um, it's worth a shot. Maybe it's a better time to do it when there's not a global pandemic going on. Um, you'll probably be more lucky if you do it maybe in a year or so. Hopefully that is when everything will be fine. Um, but yeah, definitely a fun experience and I'm really, really grateful to Newcastle United FC. Yeah, guys that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you're new around here please do hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments if you've ever tried this or if you're going to try this I'd love to know if you are more successful than I am also if you've ever met any footballers and got their autographs I would love to hear about it so don't forget to comment I'll see you guys all in my next video I hope you all have a very lovely week